is where you put your power in, your three hot legs, and this is your ground load. This is the timer for when your unscrambler turns off, and this is the timer for when the pusher turns off. And you can see the fuses for the transformer and the motor. This is your own off disconnect and you can uh, lock it out also. For the hold down, the up pick them up, and down will push them down, and the regulator to regulate your pressure. Here's your solenoids. One controls the unscrambler, one controls the pusher, and they have lights that will light up whenever they are on. And this is the speed control, one here, one inside there, for the speed of each one of them. This is adjustment for the end of the board that you're running. This is adjustment for the placement of the head in and out for the knots. This is the adjustment for the depth of the knots. This is the, the uh, supports for your longer material. you can adjust your unscrambler in and out. And in here you can adjust the backstop for the width of your board. And if you're running you can put this pivot point here in different ones for thicker or thinner material you're cutting. You get thicker boards, you put it in this feather out. For thinner boards, you put it feather in. You put your pressure hydraulic hose here. Your return hydraulic hose here. And hook up your electrical here. This is just the angle, a little bit of adjustment on the angle for the unscrambler, and this one here is the tension chain on the unscrambler. This piece down here, you need to remove it when you get it in place, it's just temporarily to, so we can handle it and move it as one piece. This adjusts your basket here in and out, and you want to try to adjust this so that the board's go straight up and fall straight in utilizing these angle pieces here as least as possible. Here's the proximity switch. This one here operates the unscrambler. This one here operates the pusher. They have a light on there. This one here has to be light has to be on so long before it stops the unscrambler. And this one here has to be also long before it stops the pushing. That's where your timer tie into. This is the kicker to, to simulate your board or the stack running up the unscrambler to knock the top board back into the basket. So it just carries one board up. The back side of the kicker, you can Loosen this sprocket up, up here, and adjust your timing on that kicker, and then tighten it back down where you want. There's no key up here, but the kicker is key. You have a tensioner on the chain on the kicker. The tension the 
belts on the nitro head you loosen these bolts that bolt the motor up and then tighten these bolts here on each side until you get your desired tension on the belts. 